Mr. Wan, what's today's case? Criminal case number 1742, People of the Philippines versus Paulo Luis Bratella. Accused Paulo Luis Bratella commits a crime for violation of Section 1 of Article 266A of Republic Act 8353 for rape. Members of, of the jury, my name is Alfredo Mendoza and my co-counsel and, and I are representing the people of the Philippines. Your Honor, members of the jury, my name is Diego de Piton and my counsel and I are representing Paolo Luis Gratella. is now in session. The Honorable Judge Rico Sebastian D. Liwanag presiding. Members of the jury, your duty today will be to determine whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty based only on facts and evidence provided in this case. The prosecution must prove that crime was committed and that defendant is the person who committed the crime. However, if you're not satisfied of the defendant's guilt, to that extent, the reasonable doubt exists and the defendant must be found not guilty. Is yes. the prosecution ready? Yes, Your Honor. Is the defense ready? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor members of, of the jury, my name is Alfredo Mendoza and my co-counsel and, and I are representing the people of the Philippines. Accused Paulo Luis Gratella involves... In this case, we intend to prove that on July 2007, went to the house of Occus to look for his sister. He is fr who is her friend, and the Occus pa Paulo Luis Botella raped the seven-year-old child. Your Honor, members of the jury, my name is Diego de Piton, and my counsel and I are representing Paulo Luis Gratella. In this case, we intend to prove that on this day, of the incident, my client was with his friend. Please find Paolo not guilty. Prosecution, you may call your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I call to stand Je as my first witness, Jenny Cruz. Will the witness please stand to be sworn in by the bailiff? Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. I do. Please take your name. Ako po si Jenny Cruz. Ilang taon nung narit ka? Seven years old po. Ngayon, ilang taon ka na? Nine years old po. Paano ka napunta sa bahay ng akusado? Pumunta po ako doon kasi nanganap po po ang kalaro na kapatid niya. Nung pumunta ka sa bahay na yun, sino ang tao doon? Si Kuya Paolo po. Tapos, sino pa? Yung kapatid niya po na kalaro ko. Tapos, nung sila tao doon dalawa, ano ang ginawa sa iyo ng Paolo na yun? Bigla, siya, bigla po siyang mapit sa rapat ko at bigla siyang nagubad. Nagubad? Tapos, ano, sumigaw ka ba o hindi? Hindi po. Hindi ka sumigaw? Wala mo ba ang mukha ni Paolo? Pwede, pwede mo bang ituro sa umang ito? Siya po. That's all, Your Honor. Defense counsel, any objection? No objection, Your Honor. You may not take your seat. Prosecution, you may call your second witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I call my second witness, Maria Cruz. Will the witness please stand to be sworn in by the bailiff? I do. Go. Please state your name. Maria Cruz. Maria Cruz. Paano mo nalaman na ginasa ang iyong anak? Habang kami po ay nanonood doon, 
nagkataon po na ang pinapanood namin na may tema ang panggalahasan. Nagulat ako biglang nagsalita ang aking anak na sa, tungkol sa ginawa ng ni Paul sa kanya. Nung nalaman mo na ginawa ni Paul yun, ano ang ginawa mo? Pumunta kami sa Bau... 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 Pumunta ka sa Bau si ano ang ginawa mo doon sa Bau si? Nag, sinabi ko po yung mga tungkol sa nangyari. Nangyari? That's all your honor. Prosecution, you may call your third witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I call it to stand. Police Chief Inspector Mar Marian S. Embadame. Go. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? I do. Please take your name. Marian S. Ibadame. Marian S. Ibadame, ano ang connection mo sa pag-inang Jenny at Maria Cruz? Noong April 16, 2009, lumapit po sa akin ng mag-inang Jenny Cruz at Marian Cruz. Um, Nag-request po sila na para sa physical at genital test. Ayon po sa test ay gumaling na ang laceration at ang nangungulang po lang dugo nito sa arin niya. Um, dito po ay napagpasyahan ko po na may malinaw na ebidensya na may pamuwersa o tumatabos na trauma sa bata. Defense, you may call your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. I call to stand, Paolo Gratella. Will the witness please stand to be sworn in by the bail? Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Maaari mo ba sabihin sa amin kung ano ang iyong pangalan? Paolo Luis Gratella. Nasaan ka nung nangyari ng insidente? Nasa bahay po ng kaibigan ko, tumatakay. Ano ang sitikin mong dahilan kung bakit ikaw ang inakakusahan ng pamilya ko? Sa pera po siguro dahil alam nyo lang nasa abulid ang aking tatay. Ito po magagawa yan dahil malaki ang respeto ko sa pamilya nila. Tapos din po ako lumalabas ang bahay kasama ang aking mga kaibigan. Kaya imposible yung mangyari yun. Prosecutor Counsel, in objection? No objection, Your Honor. Okay, defense counsel, you may step down. Thank you, Your Honor. Both the prosecution and the defense have now listed their cases. The attorney will now present their final argument. Prosecution, you may begin. Thank you, Your Honor. Today you have heard this testimony about this case. Attorney, papatunayan ko po sa upunong ito na yung kaposado ay guilty. Kasi po kami ay may matibay na ebidensya at laban sa kanya. Thank you, Your Honor. Members of the jury, you have heard all the testimony concerning this case. It is now up to you to determine the facts. You and you alone are the judges of the fact. Once you decide what facts the evidence prove, you must then apply the law as I give it to you, to the fact as you find them. Philippines 
versus Paolo Luis Gradella find the defendant guilty of the charge of rape. Thank you, Jory, for your service today. Court is adjourned.